Lions TV. Well, expecting to see you so soon. I'm still in my pants. We've signed a player, possibly two. Let's start with a player we definitely have signed. It's James Meredith from Bradford. A left back on a free transfer. He's out of contract. Australian international. He's just turned 29 years old. And let me tell you, he's a decent, decent player. It surprised me, if I'm honest, this one, um, in a good way. In a very good way, because he showed a lot of ambition. He showed we're not, we're not messing around, we're getting things done early. And I'm also very surprised that we've signed the left back, because he will now be taking Tony Craig's place. And, and I, was, I was convinced that that wasn't going to be happening. Listen, Tony Craig come back against all odds this season. He, he was getting a lot of shit centre half. He came to left back and he, he captained us to, to the playoff win. So you can't knock Craigie. But going up into, into the, uh, the championship, you know, coming up against the likes of Tom Ince, he's just not going to cut the mustard, is he? Let's be honest. So well done, Craigie. You'll be a squad player now and you'll see out your contract. Uh, obviously, that'll also, that'll also shift the question as to who will captain the side next year. Probably Morrow. But anyway, getting back to Meredith. Great, great player. Loves to get forward. Loves to overlap. Along with Mark Marshall was, was Bradford's best player probably this season and definitely in the playoffs when we played them last Saturday. And it, yeah, so it shows a lot of ambition from the club. It actually shows like we're moving forward. Another free transfer. All right, we'll take it. I mean, I think Bolton were in for him. So he's obviously a decent, decent player. And and at his age, he's, he's not old, but you know you ain't going to want to pay shitloads of money for a, for a, for a 29-year-old left-back. Next up is Tom Elliott. It's not confirmed yet, but it's looking very much like it's going to be shortly. What's going on with signing all the players so soon? It's, it's not the middle way, is it? But let's embrace it. It's a good thing. Six foot four inch powerhouse. I don't know a lot about him, but what I did see of him when we played Wimbledon Way earlier in the season was he caused us a lot of problems and he scored. I, I'm, I'm guessing um, and I'm thinking that he's probably going to be back up for Gregors and Morrow. I don't think he'll be coming straight into the side. Maybe to use an impact sub and another out, out striker, which is what we need. Could could that be the door for Harry Smith? I don't know. It's just that's just popped into me as I'm, as I'm doing the VT. But listen, he's 26 years old. I'm hearing he's one player of the year at AFC Wimbledon. It can only be a good thing, you know? This, 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 well, there's no negativity this season from me. Let's embrace every signing because all we've got to do this year, in my eyes, is survive for the next two, three years. And, and we did, in my opinion, we did need an experienced centre forward. And he has got experience, all right, maybe at League One level or League Two. But I think with his strength and the way we play, I think we'll be playing to his strengths. And I think that he will be back up for Gregor's. And then back up for Morrison. Enjoy your bank holiday. Enjoy your summer. I'll see you over the coming weeks, I'm sure. More signings. All time 11. I'll sneak a few Lions lands in where I can. Please subscribe to Lions TV. Come on, you Lions.